kind of rusty, kind of clunky, kind of heavy, kind of gets in our food. I reach into the drawer and there's an exposed blade in there, not safe. Okay, how about a can opener where all you do, set it on the can, one touch and done. This is from Kitchen HQ. Last time we had this in, I think it only lasted one or two presentations and they sold out. $15.95. Enough from me though, I told you earlier, Chef Shahir is live in studio and I know you guys are waiting to see him. So let's bring Chef Shahir out here. Chef, hey, it is always good, good to, see, to you. see you. How are you, Hey, you friend? ship me in for free too. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. right. Right, free shipping on, on Chef, <laughs> Chef Shahir. You know, Chef, I said at the top, right? A lot Look of the this. time, it's old and clunky and rusty. 100%. Okay. So those old clunky can openers, you gotta find the teeth, you gotta really kind of uh -huh. crank it hard with yep. your hand. This is the one-touch automated Kitchen HQ can over. Look at this tie. I press the button once, and you kind of watch it go around your can. You don't have to fight with it. And this is the best part. Okay. Those old-school can openers yeah. get into the can. So they're actually touching the food. That's why they get rusty. An acidic tomato will really ruin your can opener. The Kitchen HQ can opener, automated. Check okay. this out. It's gone around already. Okay. Press to stop. Press to stop. And look at this. It goes around the lid. No sharp edges, it look pops right cut. off. <laughs> so look at this, totally safe. If ever you cut yourself Sorry, on I got really nervous when you just no, did that. No, look. No, it's totally. It's designed to be you totally do, safe. You do that on any other can opener and you've just cut your finger. We Chris need does. first aid. Yes. But here, it's safe, it's one touch, it goes around, you're done. You're not fighting with that old can opener. Yes, right. There's a reason why we got rid of them so fast. Okay, time. that's right, okay. They do sell very quickly. Let me go over the colors real quickly here. As you know from Kitchen HQ, everything kind of matches back. That's that great red Look that you that. see right there. Maybe you have other Kitchen HQ red items. Look at that. Look, he's, that's a no touch. That is truly a no touch. We also have this in the teal, in the white, and in the black as well. It's just one button press. Uh, chef, we, we've Look seen other type of can openers that kind of claim to reinvent the can opener, but you yeah. still had to hold it. You Correct. still had to be very steady. Yep. You still had to hold it. And then after it cut open, there was still a sharp edge. You Correct. don't have to hold this. There is no sharp edge on this. It is easy. This is something that the kids can do. If the kids are helping out in the kitchen, For which sure. we love, yep. this is something that can be the kid's job. Take a look at that. That that, and that's a great idea. You get the kids involved in the kitchen mm -hmm. and they start to eat more of what you're cooking. So this is wonderful that it's hand-free. I'm opening a can of tomatoes to make my sauce. While it's opening, I'm chopping my onion, getting things going. Uh -huh. I'm not fighting trying to go around the whole can. It's such a simple, ingenious idea, but it's a game changer in the kitchen and yeah. safe. Totally safe. safe. Not only is the lid safe, but I mentioned something earlier, and this happens to me sometimes. Whatever can opener I have in the drawer and yep. then I'm reaching in to get it, there's normally an exposed blade. Oh, For sure. An, expo an exposed rusty <laughs> blade, let me add. Here it is. Take a look again. It's if you just... haven't seen this, if you're just listening to us, take a look at your screen real quick. This is your new can opener. It does it all by itself yep. around the outside. As Chef said, that blade is now not getting into your food. That's a good point, I never think about that. For sure. When you use that blade, it's dropping down into my food. It gets into the can, and I want you to think about anything kind of acidic like a can of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. That's what's leading your can opener to rust. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Kitchen HQ version goes around the can, it's totally safe, it's not getting into the can of food. No rusting, no fighting with it, and totally safe on the outer edge. This is great for mom. My mom has the drawer of horror. That drawer you're describing, <laughs> mom, <laughs> grandma, the drawer of horror. Get rid of the old can opener, and there you go, hands-free. Perfect for anyone with any dexterity issues as See, well. See, that's another thing. Well, I, yep. And even if you have dexterity issues, or even not, sometimes those things are just hard to do. Sure. It's hard to line up. My dad used to use this little thing called the P38. Yeah. He had this little bitty tiny thing, and I was like, Dad, I can't, <laughs> I still, as a grown adult, I can't use that. I need help with the can. So whether you have just dexterity issues or not, it can be difficult. It happens to all of us. So for $15.95, you're gonna get to open your cans without even having to hold it, without worrying about sharp edges, without worrying about that sharp, rusty blade in the drawer every time. And you just press it when it stop, right? So when That's it's gone it. 360, press it again to stop. It goes around, press it to stop it, and then you pop up the top. Oh, look at that. So again, you know, those that. old school can openers, first of all, you gotta find the right groove to really get in there, and then you're fighting with it consistently. When it comes off, they're sharp. So at Kitchen HQ, we designed it so that totally safe, hands-free, you've seen Ty that I've just been pressing one button and walking away, yeah. letting it do its thing, going right. around the world, press to stop, right. 
I love that idea of getting kids involved, Ty. Awesome job for yeah, the kids. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of things in the kitchen that I do want the kids to get involved, but I'm like, what can I what can I hand them? I'm no. not gonna hand them a can opener, I'll guarantee you that. <laughs> I'm not handing them a can opener. Uh, but you know, things that I want them to do. Yeah. Get involved, let's help out, right? And they like yep. doing that. Oh, also, batteries included. Don't you love key. that? Key, isn't Don't that key? Don't you love that? Yeah. Don't you, the batteries are included there. So you're getting the can opener, getting the battery. Let me just show you on your screen real quickly uh, kind of what you're getting, the combination of the two, because the automatic smooth edge can opener is normally $30, $29.95, and then your batteries, $4.34. So for $34, you could get this can opener with the batteries today. Yep. Chef is here live in studio. $15.95 for that. just something easier. Don't worry about it. Look, I'll, I'll be honest. Sometimes I have hands to open. I yeah. get slightly nervous. <laughs> I'm like, for sure. Oh boy, am I going to be able to do it right? Am I going to have all my fingers when I'm done? <laughs> right? This takes any anxiety out of it, Chef. 100%. And it really is about not having that sharp edge, yep. not fighting with it, not getting it in the food. Yes. So those old can openers get into your can, get into the tomatoes. That's why they're rusting. So yep. we designed it at Kitchen HQ to go around the lip, pop off, as you can see, totally safe, no sharp edge for your fingers to get caught on. Great for the kids, but again, great for mom, grandma, anyone with dexterity issues yes. that has been fighting with that can opener. Yeah. Get them the one touch, and they won't kind of wrestle with that cranky right. old rusty one again. Right, anything in the kitchen where you can kind of let the appliance do the work. Yeah. Oh, let the appliance. There's plenty of stuff that we're gonna for have sure. to chop up and we're gonna have to great, we're gonna have to do all that other stuff. If you have something where the appliance can do the work, let it do the work. And let look, one touch, stop. One touch, take done. it on. He's about to have his chunky white tuna there we go. sandwich there. <laughs> easy. <laughs> look how easy that is. Well, not only, some, sometimes chef, I'll, I'll use an old can opener and throw that can into the trash. Yes. That can then yep. cuts through the trash. 100%. Or I'm washing it out and I leave it in the sink and now yep. that's dangerous. It's taking the danger out of it. It's taking that worry out of it, right? It's very easy. Comes with the batteries, right? So right out of the box, you're ready to go. Couple of colors here. I think, um, uh, Kyle, can you remind me, is it the teal that's going very quickly that we're limited on? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, the teal right here, about 900 left in yep. the teal. It's been a very popular color in the kitchen the last couple of days. Also this great white, I've, I mean the red. I've got a lot of red Kitchen HQ in my kitchen. Me too. White here, yeah, I love, love that. Love the love red. that red color and then the black the black here. Okay, if you're just tuning in, take a look. We're opening the can without hands. It's one touch. We touched it one time. Watch how it goes around. Can I also point out, Chef, the look different sizes of cans that you're using here, right? I yeah. think that one kind of size, the carrots, that kind of a traditional look. Sure. But then the larger cans, the flatter tuna cans, yep. the smaller cans, you don't and have to have your hands on it. A small can of tomato paste, a large can of tomatoes, yep. doesn't matter, does the same thing, goes around hands-free, and doesn't get into the food. Yeah. That's the key part. Goes around right. so it stays safe and doesn't rust like an old school can opener. Yeah, that's the thing that you don't, we always think about that, we don't really realize that blade's going down mm -hmm. into the food. Yep. A, you're getting whatever's on that blade now in your yeah, food. Yeah, exactly. And two, that blade's getting all rusty. So take a look at your can opener in the drawer. Take a look, is it rusty? Is it old? Is it clunky? Do you get a little nervous when you have to pull <laughs> it out? Would you keep it away from the kids? Well, maybe it's time for $15.95 to get a better can opener, something a little safer, easier to use, multiple size cans, pick the color that you want, and it's from Kitchen HQ. You know, it's our proprietary yep. brand here at HSN, which is born out of hearing what our customers want, right? They say, yep. I need something a little easier. Well, Kitchen HQ to the rescue. And we, we designed the whole line for that, Ty. Yep. Make it easier, make it faster. There's the can opener of the future. There you Love go, it. right there, 773-565. Before we let Chef go, though, uh, <laughs> here at HSN today, we do like to play a game. Tina and I like to play games. We like to stop oh. for a second, have a little bit of fun here. Let's play a game called Get uh -oh. to Know Chef. These uh -oh. are very quick, rapid fire questions. Only one word answer. It's an one either answer. or. Kay. Are you ready, Chef? I we're think gonna, so, Ty. We're gonna put a clock on the screen. Uh, there's we a clock, move. too? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. gosh, okay. <laughs> here we go, ready. Uh, Get up early or stay up late? Up early. Bing. Uh, karaoke or dance party? Never karaoke. <laughs> Superman or Batman? Superman. Oh, that's wrong. The what are you talking about? No, there's, no wrong, there's no wrong answer. Football or baseball? Baseball. Oh, good. Okay, movies, action or comedy? Comedy. I love it. Yeah. London or New York? New York City every day. Nice. Seinfeld or Friends? Seinfeld. Love it. Time ah. travel or teleport? I would like to teleport. That's pretty good. Two more left. 
I was in there. Podcast so. or audiobook? Podcast. Okay, and lastly, most importantly, Tina or Ty? Uh, the, correct, the correct answer there <laughs> is Tina. <laughs> Chef, always Tina. The always Tina. Always Tina. Good always Tina. Chef, good to see you. For you too, buddy. Thanks for being here. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Um, all right. Are we go? Oh, we're moving over to the bed. We're mixing it up today. Oh, and I think Annie said, Annie, did you say it is your brother's birthday? I was trying to look through the comments while we were opening up some cans over there. Annie, if it's your brother's birthday, happy birthday to your brother, Annie. Thank you all for being.